This year's Campaign for Nuclear Disarmament's annual conference was held at John Moores University. The conference gathered members and guest speakers to cover pressing issues surrounding the nuclear question, such as education, the role of NATO in our current world, and even nuclear energy. There was an emotional speech and appeal from the mayor of Gonjon village on Jeju Island in South Korea. He talked about his fight to stop the construction of a naval base on his small island. The base is seen by many as a strategic military asset for the US forces in case of a future war with China. This creates tension in the region. But the main point of discussion was naturally that of Trident and England's nuclear defence programme. They're working to prevent a yes vote uh, when Parliament discusses Trident replacement in Parliament in 2016. And two years ago, when this new government came into power, it made an assessment, it made a national, new national security strategy, and they actually downgraded state-on-state -state nuclear threats to a level two threat. So with the sort of diminishing significance of nuclear weapons, even in our own government's assessment, and big drives internationally to get rid of nuclear weapons, it seems mad to buy a new lot. Throughout the conference, various workshops were organised to help CND members understand how to better relate to specific groups, such as students, faith groups, and especially politicians. It was a great opportunity for members to discuss ways of gaining more support and work out how to get the nuclear debate back on the table. I think the most productive way of doing the campaign is to raise public awareness of the existence of nuclear weapons in this country, public awareness of the danger of them and the victims of nuclear weapons. Hundreds of thousands of people in Japan in 1945 still dying of cancers as a result of it, plus those that have been victims of nuclear explosions such as Pacific Islands, Western States, the USA, former Central Soviet Union. Public pressure Public profile, public campaigning raises the issue within the media, within general political debate. Specific targeting campaigning and lobbying individual members of parliament also has a very strong effect on them, such as letters, emails, petitions, face-to-face -face meetings, discussions with MPs, begins to make them aware of the reality that public opinion is actually not in support of nuclear weapons, not in support of replacement of Trident, and helps our cause. Unfortunately for us all, despite the CND's best efforts and its rich history and activism, there's still a long way to go before the world is free of a nuclear threat.